This week on Head Squeeze, we're asking the question, why are hydropower dams built so high? Now, when I think of a hydropower dam, I picture a great big towering wall of concrete holding back millions of gallons of water. But have you ever thought to ask yourself, why are they built so high? For this experiment, we're gonna need an empty plastic bottle, a pair of scissors, some food coloring here, a nice big jug of water, and we've got here kind of a upside down fish tank, which gives us a surface higher up to, to work on. And you're gonna need something to catch the water in. So let's go on with the first part of the experiment where we just investigate water pressure a little bit. Now to do this, take your bottle and carefully using the scissors, we're just gonna nip the top of the bottle off. So first job done, you don't need that. It is a little bit jagged. So I'm just gonna get some gaffer tape around the top there. So we've got our bottle ready. Now what we need to do is cut little holes in it. One at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Okay, so we've got our bottle there ready to go. Gaffer tape on. Let's just fill it up with water. I hope that gaffer tape holds. Nice. All the way to the top. Okay, I'm gonna take off each of the gaffer tapes in turn and we'll see what happens. Okay, start with the top, let's see what happens. Okay, we've got a bit of a stream coming out there. Reminds me a bit of that uh, famous fountain in Brussels. Whee! Okay, there goes the second one. And the third one, even bigger still. Wow, okay. So, you can see when the first one was going, it wasn't really coming out very fast, just kind of dribbling out. The second one is getting smaller now. That came out a bit faster, but the third one was rocketing out and that's all to do with water pressure. So for the second part of our experiment, we're gonna get on and make our very own kind of makeshift water wheel. You can try this at home if you like, but for that, you're gonna need an empty milk carton, quite a big one there, some cork bungs here. We've got holes through the middle of them already, a little bit of doweling. We've got a standing knife, be careful with this, it's very, very sharp. And we've got a bunch of plastic spoons. Main thing, I just need to get on and cut a hole in our milk bottle. Now I need to get our dowling through the middle of it, so I need to create a hole. I'm gonna make ours a five-bladed water wheel. We're gonna make little scores, at five points all the way around the hub that we can stick these spoons into. That's good enough. So, we've got our little water wheel with effectively the blades of our turbine. There we go, don't need that, all that. Our spacer on. And this time, hopefully, our water wheel will fit. And there you go, we've got our water wheel finished, ready to get spinning around. Oh, hey, we're off. <laughs> Look at it go, it's brilliant. And that's exactly what we're after in a hydropower dam, to get our turbines spinning really fast using the pressure we get from our really high dam wall. It's engineering in motion. How beautiful. If you've tried out some of the experiments that we've done here on live experiments at home, then let us know. Let us know how you got on. You can do that in the comments section all the way below the video.